Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to give you a quick tip on how to do a on-screen takeoff within review. We're gonna go through and show you how to first create a custom count, then we're gonna use the panel of search to go through and visually search for all of the icons or images that I need to apply a count to. So this is going to automate that existing maybe workflow that we have of going through our entire PDF set and applying a count instance per instance, which takes forever. Or the old way of when we had actual printed out PDFs, highlighting, then referencing to an Excel file. Maybe we have this digital workflow where we're applying it to every single instance. Let's erase that. Let's have review go through and automate the search we created a custom account and apply it directly to what it's found. So let's hop right into review and show you how this can be done. Alrighty, so now I'm in review. I'm gonna go through and create a custom count that I'm gonna use for this example to search for returns. So I already did this with my supply, but I need to create a custom count for my return. So I'm gonna go through to my ellipse. I'm gonna create a markup to create into a count. I'm gonna add a fill for this. I'm gonna change the opacity a little bit. I'm also gonna change the line. And why am I gonna do green when the supply is already green? Let's do blue for this instance, and we're gonna make our line blue as well. So now I've gone through and have changed this and created a custom markup that I'm gonna use and make into a count. So all I have to do here is go into my tool chest. I will see it in my recent tools. And from my recent tools, I'm going to double click to change this to drawing mode. So you can always right click, change it to properties mode, which is the properties of the markup. So I can use the ellipse to have the same properties or double click it. And it's now an exact copy of something I've placed before. Now, what I need to do is bring it into one of my tool sets that I have available for this instance. In this example, I'm going to bring it up to my tools. I'm going to change this to symbol mode. Now from here, I have my newly created markup that I'm gonna use as a count. So I'm gonna right click on that markup, create into a count. Now I didn't change any of the data for my markups list on the original one, because when you create it into a count, it's already gonna change the data to a count measurement data driven for the markups list, which I don't need. So I need to select this and change the subject matter to what it will be. So I'm gonna put return. Then I'm gonna add the label. So for this instance, my label is gonna also say what size. So now I know the count for the size that I'm gonna be using or adding in this room. Now, once this is done, I do not have to go and recreate it. I would though, if I needed to go through, you can duplicate it. You can go through and change it and then add it for maybe a different size of a label if you wanted to. But again, the thought process for this is to be one and done. I do not need to go and recreate my return 22 by 22s ever again. This is just that first upfront up front process of going through and doing that. So I'm going to delete the existing one. I'm going to select the tool chest panel to remove it because not remove the markup, but to not show it populated up here because I don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to go to my other panel, which is on the right hand side, which is search. If you do not see search, you can always right click in an open panel area or on a panel and then go to show and you'll find all of your panel icons or alt plus one. Now I'm gonna select the search. This first part is your text search. So if you wanted to search for something by text, of course, if it's a vector, not a raster, you can search for text still if you run the optical character recognition in Review Extreme to search by text. Then I'm gonna to go to my visual one, which is on the right. And then I'm gonna encompass or get a rectangle on what I want review to go through and search for in my PDF. So I'm gonna encompass this return and then I'm gonna go through and say, what are you looking for review? This image in this entire page, the entire document, or even from a folder, the PDF doesn't even have to be open. So I'm gonna say just this page. Then you have sensitivity. You can go and play with this in terms of what it's going to look for in the image sensitivity wise to relative to the other shapes that are on the PDF. So I'm just gonna keep it at here. What you want it to refine for, for the searching, parameters. I'm going to then just go and say search down here in the bottom. It's going to go through and give you a percentage as it goes through and searches the entire page for what it's looking for. So now it's gone through and given me my results. I found 72 of them. I'm going to check all 
you can always go through and scroll and verify that it's selected the correct ones and deselect the ones that it may not be correct for. Because again, when you're automating something like this, it may not select the correct one. Just go through and use this sensitivity and figure out for your icons that you're using in your workflow, which um, point, I guess you would say, works best on this slide bar. And then I'm gonna click the Thunderbolt and apply my count. So applying your count, you'll see all of your available counts that you have created. So I'm gonna go to my returns, left click, and it's placed them all here. Now, if it has missed one, you can always right click and resume count, or you can select one instance of the ones that have been selected, and you can delete that instance for that one as well. So you always have that option of going and just deleting that specific one or deleting all. I've also created a legend. Can I go through and add them to the legend? Let's go over here and do that. You can, you just select the ones that have been added. You can right click, then add to a legend. Now, if this is something you wanna learn how to create a legend, by all means, in the comment areas in this YouTube video, please ask. I will go through and create a custom uh, quick tip for creating legends if you wanted to go through and learn how to do that. But now it's also down to my markups list if I wanted to go through and look. There's my return, my count. And if you want to learn how to maybe apply a dollar value to them as well, we could do that too. Just in the comments area, please leave it there and I'll create a quick tip for those in the future. But thank you for tuning in today for my quick tip on how to create a custom count and then use the visual search icon or panel within review and use that to search for whatever you're looking for in your PDF set and applying the newly created account to all of those. Again, eliminating that workflow of having to go and manually place them on every single page of where they're at location-wise, you can automate that process and create a more efficient workflow. But thank you for tuning in today, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next quick tip.